It's been almost an entire year since the last chapter of the ReZero web novel, and I'll be honest, I absolutely thought it was going to be discontinued. Well, I'm very happy to say that I was wrong. Today, we finally got Arc 6 Chapter 80 titled Death of the Spirit, and it picks up right where Chapter 79 left off with Batten Kaidos and Rom staring at each other across the spiral staircase, preparing to fight. Lai Batten Kaidos thought it was unusual to meet someone that truly hated him. Because his authority erases memories, it was rare to find someone that was actually aware of what he's done. Rom repeats her line that ended the previous chapter, I told you to die screaming like a pig, and then she kicks Batten Kaidos down the staircase sending him flying backwards. Rom follows him and continues her merciless onslaught, but Lai just laughs and evades her attacks with ease. By borrowing her sister's memories, he was able to predict her attacks and dodge them flawlessly. And because Lai was using Rem's memories to guide him, Rom's true opponent was actually her own sister. As Batten Kaidos laughs and mocks her, a murderous dance of love and hate unfolds on the spiral staircase. In a fight between Rom and Rem, the sister without a horn is supposed to be at a disadvantage. However, Batten Kaidos is the one to receive the first injury of the battle. After failing to dodge the wind attack, blood spurted out of his face. But with Rem's memories inside him, he should have been able to evade this attack easily. Touching his cheek, he felt a wound that shouldn't have been possible. Realizing this, Batten Kaidos wipes the smile off his face and stops laughing. Somehow, this version of Rom was different from the one in Rem's memories. Her sister was now a lot stronger than she remembered. This means that the entire time Rem was awake, she never got to see Rom's maximum potential. This is because Rom wasn't able to reach her full potential until Subaru used Corleonis to support her. So Rem never got to see her sister like this, and that's why Batten Kaidos isn't able to use Rem's memories to his advantage. Basically what I'm saying is, Subaru is the most important participant in this fight, and Corleonis is the key to securing the victory for Rom. Hang in there, Barusu, Rom says, and then the scene changes. We're now following Subaru with Biako and Meili, who are both riding their trusty steeds while being chased by a giant scorpion who, by the way, was just recently confirmed to be created by Daphne. Subaru finally explains his plan in greater depth. He wants to distract the scorpion for as long as possible while waiting for Amelia to reach the top of the tower so she can edit the rules of the tower. Remember, the last rule of the tower was that the rules can be broken, so Subaru thinks that Amelia will be able to change the rules and save Shala, make Reed go away, etc, etc. Anyway, Meili continues using her divine protection to control the demon beasts as best she can and suggests that they get as far away from the tower as possible. But Subaru tells her that he has to stay close to the tower to keep Rom in range of Corleonis. Julius was also fighting a very tough battle, and possibly Amelia as well, but Subaru ultimately decided that Rom was the one who needed Corleonis the most. Meili's kamikaze demon birds keep slamming into the scorpion, but it wasn't very effective, so Beatrice used some magic to make them heavier so that they'll actually do damage. But all of a sudden, Subaru's heart felt like it was about to explode. Remember, Corleonis allows Subaru to know his allies' locations by seeing them as points of light. Well, all of a sudden, Amelia's light disappeared, and this confused Subaru terribly because it could only mean one of two things. Either she was out of range, or she was dead. In Lagunica, there isn't a single person who doesn't know this name. The divine dragon Volcanica stood before Amelia at the top of the tower. Its presence chilled her blood, and she was unable to move. It felt as if even breathing was prohibited without the other party's permission. Amelia gasped as she looked at Volcanica's colossal body. The deep blue-colored scales gleamed like jewels, and each one looked sharper than a legendary sword. Volcanica was too large to fit inside the tower, so this level must have been built in the open specifically for the purpose of housing him. Amelia hesitated when she spoke and fumbled over her words, but tried to convey that she was ready to begin the trial. However, Volcanica just repeated the exact same words he said last chapter, as if he was trapped in some kind of loop. Thou who reaches this tower's summit, by an old covenant, I, Volcanica, ask the will of thee." He keeps repeating the same thing over and over, and Amelia gets really confused. Maybe I should touch him, she thought. Gently reaching out her hand, she touches one of his metallic blue scales, which was very cold to the touch. Volcanica looks down at her and once again repeats the same sentence as before. 
The dragon's long-lived eyes gazed into the depths, but all Amelia saw was an empty stare. Until suddenly, she understood. It was not the death of the body, but the death of the spirit. The ancient dragon had gotten too old to remember the trial, so Amelia was on her own to figure it out. But the lives of her allies were at stake, and they were running out of time, so Amelia had no choice but to begin the trial, even without knowing what it was. The end. So that was chapter 80. It was a short chapter. Nothing really crazy happened, but regardless, I'm so happy that it finally arrived. I love the ReZero web novel, and I'm so glad that it isn't being discontinued. I was honestly shocked that this chapter came out today, but I'm in a great mood, and I hope everyone else is just as happy as I am. So we got some interesting information. Obviously, Rom has the advantage over Batankaidos because of Corleonis, which is awesome. I really hope she kills him, but that would raise the question, what would happen? happen if Rom killed an Archbishop? Would the Witch Factor still go to Subaru? I think it most definitely will go to Subaru, but part of me is kinda hoping that Rom will get it. Imagine how badass Rom would be with the authority of Gluttony. Again though, this probably won't happen, but it's an interesting thought. Another thing I want to talk about is Amelia's light disappearing from Corleonis. Obviously, the light going out implies that she died, but I don't think that's the case at all. My guess is that her light stopped showing because the trial began, and it'll probably come back after the trial's over, but I'm not sure. I'm just as confused as everyone else, so if you've got any theories, let me know in the comment section. The last thing I want to talk about is Volcanica. I don't know what's up with him. Amelia seems to think he has Alzheimer's, but I don't really know. I still don't think it's the real Volcanica, but I guess that's another thing that'll be answered in the future. Next chapter will either be Amelia's trial or Julius's fight against Reed Estrella, but either way, I'm super fucking excited. I hope the author releases the next chapter soon, because Arc 6 is on its way to becoming my favorite arc of Reed zero and I'm just so glad that the web novel is being continued. If I made any mistakes in this video, as always, please let me know in the comment section. Remember that these ARC 6 videos are made literally the day the chapter comes out, so not everything is going to be 100% accurate, and they're certainly not meant to be an alternative to the official translations. If you guys enjoyed this video though, please give it a like and make sure you subscribe to be notified when another one comes out. Share your theories in the comment section below, and keep talking about ReZero guys. Peace out.